I am Casey. Um, I'm an ER nurse, and as of July 8th, 2021, I am the 85th nurse to hold all five Board of Emergency Nursing certifications, and that makes me the 85th nurse ever to have all five of them. And I work in the pediatric cardiac ICU at Johns Hopkins. Yeah, so when I first started, I didn't set out a goal to achieve all five certifications. I initially only had signed up for two of them. Um, and I actually hold a certification in critical care nursing as well as the emergency nursing. So I set out to just do the two. And as I passed the first emergency certification, I went on and started scheduling other ones. And I ended up taking six certification exams in four months. <laughs> yeah, so from each certification, so my first one was the critical care registered nurse certification. And then in the ER certifications, I obtained the certified transport nurse, certified flight registered nurse, trauma certified registered nurse, certified emergency nurse, and then certified pediatric emergency nurse. Yeah, so the most challenging the most challenging certification that I did, and actually I have a tie for two, um, was the the transport registered nursing certification, so the CTRN, Certified Transport Registered Nurse, and the Certified Emergency Nurse, the CEN, they were both very, very difficult tests. And out of the five, and even the six that I took, probably the two hardest out of all of them. <laughs> So yes, I did do it early in my career. I started, I got right out of uh, high school and did my prereqs for nursing school and finished nursing school when I was 22. So I'm 28 now, so I've been a nurse for six years. So I'm not that old. Um, and I always tell people when they see a picture of me or hear that I'm like young, I'm like, well, look, you should have seen me when I first started. <laughs> So my motivation was more so about I had done transport nursing for two years, ER the whole time, and along with it um, worked in trauma, worked in, emer worked in the emergency room the entire time, but also working with pediatrics. And the biggest motivation was that certifications say so much about you before you even meet patients. Um, when you talk to your coworkers, everything. And it speaks to the knowledge that you've learned in the profession. And I felt like at this point, six years in, I was ready to tackle them and kind of ready to, even when I added more in without thinking about them, um, prepare and study for them. And mostly the motivation was I wanted to uh, the, C the, T the CTRN, the transport certification, only 200 nurses had had it. And so I was like, I want to get one that like nobody has. So I got that one. And then the rest kind of just fell into place. But for me, it was more, I certification has meant so much to me. So once I reached the experience level where I felt comfortable, then I tried to tackle them. <laughs> Yeah, so when I'm not um, pursuing additional certifications, I am actually an adjunct faculty at Howard Community College. That's where I went to nursing school at and where I received my first nursing degree. So I'm a clinical instructor there and I work with nursing students starting nursing school when they're about to finish and this semester with pediatrics, helping them achieve 
you know, getting out of nursing school and get to licensure. Yeah, so at age 28 with 85 certs, uh, a lot of people will say, like, what, what's next? You just kind of get to enjoy. Nope, that's not for me. Um, the next step for me is actually applying for CRNA school next year, hopefully getting into CRNA school. But that's my next goal. And just continuing to teach and inspire others to become me, surpass me, or just become a nurse if they don't have that goal of being better than me. <laughs>